Hey there. In this video, let us showcase how easily and swiftly we can issue blockchain-based certificates to your students via LegiCred. LegiCred operates on a blockchain-powered SaaS platform tailored for universities and educational bodies to securely issue a range of credentials all stored immutably on the blockchain. In our previous video, we showcased how simple and easy it is to onboard and grade students to a program. We'll add the link in the comment box. We are currently on the university dashboard. Let's click on the credentials tab. And as you can see, there are already some students in the credentials pending tab. When we issue their certificates on blockchain, those students will show up in the attested or archived students tab. In order to certify the students on blockchain, let's go to the blockchain actions. You can see there are four types of documents that can be issued to the students transcripts, degree certificates, migration certificates, and provisional certificates. Let's click on transcripts and attest to a student, say Rahul Sharma. Let's click on the view certificate, and as you can see the blockchain identity, it says not attested. Let's attach this student. If you look at the TX hash column, you'll notice no hash ID is there. Let's select this student, click on attach selected documents, it is sending the certificates to blockchain. Once it's done, We'll close it and go to the Attested tab. You can see Rahul Sharma is here, and a unique TX hash ID has been issued to this student. Let's click on the View Certificate option. You will see that a unique blockchain ID has been issued to the student, and he can share his certificate on Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, copy the certificate ID, or share his documents via email. Let's go back and issue all the certificates to this student. You'll notice as the student gets certified via blockchain, he moves from the non-attested tab to the attested tab. If you view the certificate, you will see the QR code here and on the certificate as well. Now that we have issued all the four certificates to the student, let's go back to the credentials tab. Earlier, Rahul Sharma was in the credentials pending tab, but now he is in the attested or archived students tab. Let us quickly show you how the certificates would appear to the student. We are currently on the student dashboard, and here you can see all the analytics relevant to the student. As you can see, there are five certificates available to the student. If you click on degree certificates, you'll notice the title of his degree and other details. Let's click on view online. You can see the unique blockchain identity associated with it. Let's click on verify credential on blockchain and it will automatically start verifying the document if all the details are authentic or not. The document is now successfully verified via blockchain. Let's click on transcripts. As you can see, there are two transcripts from two different universities. Let's click on the migration certificates tab. You'll notice that it is asking to make payment. This means that the said document has been issued, but the university wants the student to make payment in order to access the certificate. We'll cover the payment module for universities in our upcoming video. We just witnessed how easy and simple it is to issue certificates to the students via LegiCred. This helps in making education fraud-free and document issuance temper-free. Stay tuned for more insights into LegiCred's features in our upcoming videos. In case of any queries, feel free to reach out via email or call us directly. Have a fantastic day.